Hello everyone and welcome to this short video on viral capsid structure and specifically how to calculate the T number. As a brief background, the viral capsid, or in the case of envelope viruses, the nucleocapsid, is a protein coating that functions at least in part to protect the viral genetic material. One of the most common structures of the capsid is icosahedral. An icosahedron is a geometric shape with 20 triangular faces, which in viruses are comprised of trimers. As such, the viral capsids are comprised of multiples of 60 times T proteins. And T determines the size of the capsid in terms of the number of subunits. An icosahedron has multiple axes of symmetry, specifically a 5 axis, a 3 axis, and the two axis. The one that we are most interested in for the calculation of T is the five axis. To calculate T, we first need to determine H and K, which are vectors along the capsid surface defined by green and red arrows. These vectors originate from the center of any pentagon and are used to measure the distance to the next closest pentagon or 5 axis of symmetry vertex. Using this simple example, we start in the middle of one pentagon and advance in one direction 1, 2, 3, 4, and then towards the next closest pentagon we advance 1 in the other direction. That gives us an H of 4 and a K of 1. It doesn't matter which axis is defined as H and which is defined as K. This is because the equation used to calculate T treats them equivalently. To calculate T, we simply substitute the values for H and K. In this case, we get T equals 21. We can therefore calculate the number of subunits in the capsid by multiplying 60 by T to get 1,000. 260 subunits. Feel free to watch the video again and try it on a different capsid example from the measurement slide to get a better hang of the idea.